Hell verses. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 22 says for a fire is kindled in my anger, and shall burn to the lowest hell, it shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Job chapter 26 verse 6 says hell is naked before him, and destruction hath no covering. Daniel chapter 12 verse 2 says multitudes who sleep in the dust of the earth will awake, some to everlasting life, others to shame and everlasting contempt. Psalm chapter 9 verse 17 says the wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Psalm chapter 16 verse 10 says for thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Psalm chapter 116 verse 3 says the sorrows of death compassed me, and the pains of hell got hold upon me, I found trouble and sorrow. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 27 says her house is the way to hell, descending to the chambers of death. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 20 says hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 24 says the way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell. Ben Proverbs chapter 15 verse 24 says the way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 14 says therefore hell hath enlarged herself, and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory, and their multitude, and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth, shall descend into it. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 9 says hell from beneath is excited about you, to meet you at your coming, it stirs up the dead for you, all the chief ones of the earth, it has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 12 to verse 15 says how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation, in the sides of the north I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Matthew chapter 5 from verse 27 to verse 30 says you have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to stumble, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go into hell. Matthew chapter 7 from verse 13 to verse 14 says Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Matthew chapter 8 verse 12 says Hell is a place of outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew chapter 10 verse 28 says, And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew chapter 12 verse 40 says For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the great fish, so will the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Matthew chapter 13 from verse 49 to verse 50 says this is how it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew chapter 25 verse 41 says then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Matthew chapter 25 verse 46 says and they will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous will go into eternal life. Mark chapter 9 verse 43 and if thy hand offend thee, cut it off, it is better for thee to enter into life maimed, than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. Mark chapter 9 verse 44 says where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Mark chapter 9 verse 45 says, And if thy foot offend thee, cut it off, it is better for thee to enter halt into life, than having two feet to be cast into hell, 
into the fire that never shall be quenched. Mark chapter 9 verse 46 says, Hell, is where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Mark chapter 9 verse 47 says and if thine eye offend thee, pluck it out, it is better for thee to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye, than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. Mark chapter 9 verse 48 says he, hell, is where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Luke chapter 12 from verse 4 to verse 5 says, I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and after that can do no more. But I will show you whom you should fear, fear him who, after your body has been killed, has authority to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. John chapter 8 verse 21 says Then said Jesus again unto them I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins, whither I go, ye cannot come. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 8 to verse 9 says Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 4 says For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved for judgment. Jude chapter 1 verse 6 says And the angels who did not keep their positions of authority but abandoned their proper dwelling these he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for judgment on the great day. Jude chapter 1 verse 7 says in a similar way, Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding towns gave themselves up to sexual immorality and perversion. They serve as an example of those who suffer the punishment of eternal fire. Revelation chapter 1 verse 18 says I am he who lives, and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Revelation chapter 14 verse 10 says hell is a place where sinners and unbelievers drink of the wine of God's wrath. Revelation chapter 14 verse 11 says it is a place where the smoke of their torments ascend forever and ever. Revelation chapter 20 from verse 1 to verse 3 says and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. Revelation chapter 20 verse 14 says and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. Revelation chapter 20 verse 15 says and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 says but for the cowardly and unbelieving and abominable and murderers and sexually immoral persons and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars their part will be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death.